Okay, so hello. Uh, I would like to share with you this video for a very simple technique on how to convert units. Okay, uh, pag sinabi kasing units, why to convert units, meron tayong iti change or something to change for or to attain unit consistency. Okay, whenever you make calculations involving measurements, you have to remember, always remember to check for unit consistency. And that is, the units should belong in the same system. Now, if you are using meter for length, then you should use kilogram for mass. Again, meter for length, yung mass na partner niya, it should be in a kilogram. But if you are using centimeter for length, then you should use gram for mass. Okay? Now, there are uh, two kinds of system na ginagamit. Okay, we have here the meter, kilogram, second, or the MKS system. And we have the CGS, that is um, centimeter, gram, second. But in physics, they are preferred to use the MKS. Now, if the units of a given quantity are inconsistent, then you will have to convert them. Generally, if the most of these units are m second, then you have to convert the non-CGS units. Otherwise, the MKS system is preferred over the CGS system. So, in short, uh, mas gina prefer ang paggamit ng MKS compared with the CGS. Okay? So, good luck and make sure that meron kayong ball pen. Then we have your calculator and for your paper para sa ating solutions. Okay? Good luck and okay. So we will convert 110 pounds into kilograms. Okay? Pounds to kilograms. So remember, 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Okay? So we are going to convert it without using your Google, no searching Google. Okay, just write the, ayan, the unit of, or the 110 pounds and then demand in na na close open parenthesis. So this is our numerator and denominator. So si denominator, ang isulat ni mo na unit, katong niya ang given unit. So we have pounds. So unsa ang naasa numerator ang imong desired unit or the kilogram. It, it must be in the opposite para makancel siya. Okay? So, remember, so what is the value? Kasi unit lang man ito. So, remember, 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Okay, so how are we going to compute it? Remember, kapag numerator to numerator, that is multiply, if naka, what you call that, like this uh, denominator pag naka fraction that's that's divide okay basta naka fraction division so 110 times 1 divided by 2.2 is equal to 50 kilograms so remember your unit 50 kilograms and then box your final example number 2 we have 25 kilometers you're going to convert it into meters. To kilometer to meters. From larger to smaller unit. Okay, anong gagawin natin dito? Of course, not forget your conversion equivalent. No? One kilometer is equal to how many meters? Very good. 1,000 meters. Okay, again, write your uh, given unit. That is 25 kilometers. And then, Open parenthesis, okay, and then close parenthesis. Sa ganibutang diri sa denominator, yung given unit, and it must be opposite para ma-cancel. So, unsa ang ginapangita? Meter. So, butang nato si meter sa numerator. In 1 kilometer, how many meters? 1,000 meters. And then, cancel natin si kilometers, and then we are going to compute Again, 25 and times 1,000 meters kasi nga multiply man because they are in the same 
uh, position or in the numerator. So, multiply natin sila and then divided by 1. Then, we came up with an answer of 25,000 meters. Do not forget to box your answer and emphasize the unit. Another example that is 2 meters we will convert it into kilometers. Okay, take note, meters to kilometers. If you can observe meter, that is smaller unit, padulong sa greater unit. And obviously, kapag ganyan, um, we're going to use the division or divide. Pag greater naman to smaller, usually, napapansin natin, Multiply. Okay? Technique lang yan. So, balik tayo sa ating problem. 2 meters converted or will convert into kilometers. So, remember, in 1 k, okay, yung given natin with 2 meters, open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Okay? Meter. So, it must be in the opposite para makancel natin si meter. So, ilagay si meter sa baba and kilometer sa taas. Ula pa tayo ng value. And we have here 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Now, we can cancel the unit of meters and then do the computation. So, remember, they, have, uh, they are in the same position or in the numerator. So, we can multiply 2 times 1, that is 2, and then divided by 1,000. Then, we came up with an answer of 2 times 10, the power of negative 3, kilometers in an exponential form. And then, or, yung iba, sagot natin, 0 0.002 kilometers. Kapag hindi naka-exponent. And don't forget your box or box your app. Okay, so another example, we have here 10 meter per second to be converted into kilometers per hour. Okay, meter per second to kilometers per hour. If you can observe the lawang units ang involved natin dito. We have for the distance, meter, and for the time, that is seconds, or length at saka time. Okay, so yung conversion equivalent natin, we have 1 kilometer, okay, that is equivalent to 1,000 meters, and for 1 hour, okay, for our solution, we have here, 10 meter over seconds and then meron tayong idodraw ng dalawang boxes kasi bakit dalawa? Dalawang units ang involved. So, don't forget our line here. So, first box yung ating distance. So, meter, since numerator ilagay natin siya sa baba para makancel. Meter to be converted into kilometers. Next, for the second box, we have seconds. So, since denominator yung given natin, so we can put in the numerator si seconds for our desire for seconds into hour. Are we done? Not yet. So, lagyan natin ng value. We have 1 kilometer, 1,000 meters, and 1 hour, 3,600 seconds. Then, we can now cancel their units. Okay? So, let's do the mathematics here. 10 times 1, 10. Bucket multiply, it's because they are in the same position or both of them are in the numerator position. Understood si 10, meron yung 1. So, ang mangyayari, 10 times 1 divided by 1,000, then we came up with 0 0.01 kilometers. Bakit kilometers? Kasi si kilometers ang naiwan. And then, and then if you can observe, uh, 3,600 is in the numerator position. So, again, that is multiply or multiplication. Times 3,600 divided by in one hour. Okay, so 0 0.01 kilometer multiplied by 3,600 divided by 1. That is equivalent to, okay, 36. And the unit is kilometer per hour. Okay, so box your final answer. Okay, for our example, we have here 2 meter per second squared to be converted into kilometer per hour squared. Okay, try to check that there are two units 
na involved and this are the meter distance and second time try to observe also our exponent number two na naka-attach lang kay time okay so let's proceed in one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters and for our time one hour is equal to 3600 seconds next in our solution same lang yapon ang process so we have here two meter per second squared but yung difference lang is yung set natin is dalawa is because dalawang unit ang involved so let's proceed yung isang unit or first uh, parenthesis ito yung para sa distance and the second set is for the time so si meter sa first or solution is naa siya sa numerator in our solution ibutang nato sa baba para makancel meter will be converted into kilometers next for our second set time sa ato ang given si time is naa sa denominator in our solution ibutang nato siya sa numerator para makancel opposite cancel and second will be converted into hour. Then, naman tay exponent 2. So, sa time lang ta magbutang og exponent na 2. Wala kay distance. It's because in our given, walay appeal si distance. Okay? Next, let's proceed in our, uh, what you call this, mathematics here. So, 2 or pwede na ba ta dili pa butangan sa nato og value ang atong mga set so in 1 kilometer there is 1000 meters and 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds okay we can now uh, do mathematics here kun ano man tay mga values okay so 2 meter times 1 kilometer Nano times because na sila sa same position. 2 times 1 divided by 1000 that is equal to 0 0.002 kilometers. Okay, cancel natin si meter, cancel si meter. That is why kilometers ang naiwan. Next set. So, pwede na ba natin multiply tuloy-tuloy? No. We have to simplify this 3,600 because naka-squared siya. So, cancel, cancel yan. So, mangyayari, we have 3,600 have 12,960,000. Wala siya unit, kaya na-cancel na si second squared. So, divided by 1 hour multiplied by itself, or multiplied by itself, we have 1 hour squared. Okay, next, 0 0.002 kilometers times 12,960,000 divided by 1. Okay, the answer is, very good, 25,920 kilometers per hour squared. Okay, do not forget the unit kilometer per hour squared.